How's my quad squad doing? It's the man, the myth, the legend, quad MFT here, bringing you guys a new CSGO video. Today, we're going to be talking about the brand new revolver case that literally came out 30 minutes ago. It's absolutely insane. I actually opened up four of them right when they came out. Like They were so expensive. Link to that down in the description below. Go ahead and watch that, guys. It's really entertaining. It's hilarious. We actually get some pretty cool skins. So let's talk about and go over every single skin in this case. So obviously, it's called the revolver case because there's a new gun, the R8 revolver you can't buy it on pistol round it actually costs 850 which if you guys don't know if you're kind of new to csgo you start out with 800 on the first round so that being so you actually can buy the deagle over the r8 revolver even though the r8 revolver is a little bit more powerful than the deagle because occasionally it can get a one hit to the chest if you aim it correctly i believe with the left click because on the r8 revolver you can left click for a really accurate shot or right click for you know it's still accurate but it's a little bit more of a spammy shot right clicking is really good try it out trust me but let's talk more and i'm really excited because i've actually had a, a decent amount of game time with our revol revolver and i'm really like i'm probably doing a few other videos on it and especially using it in my live stream twitch.tv link to that down in the description below twitch.tv slash quad mft let's go over every skin so the first one i actually unboxed this was the r8 revolver crimson web obviously that's beautiful stat track factory new is going to be worth so much money and it's gonna look, gonna look incredible the next one is the aug ricochet not a bad skin i like it a lot the desert eagle corinthian ew it looks like the bronze deco or bronze deco don't like it at all the p2k imperial i like that one we also unboxed that one it's pretty nice sawed off yorick we got a stat track version of that looks a lot better than i thought honestly i thought it was going to be disgusting because normally sawed off skins are, even, are pretty ugly besides the kraken but the yorick is pretty solid scar 20 outbreak not a bad skin kind of looks like the green marine from the shadow case and then we've got the pp bison fuel rod which i like qu quite a bit it looks like the chemical green pp bison then we've got the 5.7 Retribution, which looks really cool. I think that's definitely really, 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 really underrated. Like, a lot of people are kind of going over it. So, you know, I think you guys should pay a little bit more attention to the 5.7 Retribution. The next one, Negev Power Loader. Very nice skin, considering we don't really have that many nice skins for the Negev. It's nice to see them to put out another skin for it. Then the SG553 Tiger Moth. I actually like that quite a bit. It looks really good. Then the Tech 9 Avalanche. I think that gun is going to get really popular. Stat Track. For some reason, everybody likes Stat Track Tech 9s, and I completely agree with them. It's phenomenal. The next one is the XM1014 Tech Lube Burner. TQ Burner, something like that. It kind of looks like the XM1014 Bone machine which i don't mind i prefer the bone machine that i don't really like that skin too much i'm gonna be 100 honest the next one has got to be probably one of the best skins in csgo right now the ak-47 point disarray absolutely gorgeous it kind of reminds me of the front side misty it doesn't really look like it but it's a gorgeous skin just wow i'm gonna get that skin for sure the next one and i'm glad they're adding another skin for the g3 sg1 beautiful beautiful skin actually for it. they actually released the flux in the last shadow case and i'm glad they released another pink for it. the executioner it's good that they're paying attention to guns that don't get that much play even though it's an auto so i like that one then the p90 shape wood hate it i don't like it at all it's, it's ugly to be honest i'm not gonna I'm not gonna bs you guys i don't like it m4a4 royal paladin onto the reds there's two obviously this looks kind of cool. I like this. I like the Paladin. I, I, I've typically, I typically used to use the M4A4 all the time. And then in the past few weeks, I moved over to the M4A1S. I, I'm a little bit disappointed it's not for the M4A1S. But they had the Golden Coil in the last Shadow Case, so I'm happy that they came out with one for the M4A4. The next one is the R8 Revolver Fade. Obviously, this is the one everybody wants. It, it's beautiful. I've seen in specs of it factory new, and oh my lord. The R8 revolver is incredible. And then obviously we have the knife. No new knife this time, which I think was a good choice because last time we had the shadow daggers. I think it's good that we, we don't come out with completely new knives all the time. So overall, this case is pretty solid. It's definitely my top three favorite cases, the revolver case. Again, make sure to click the link down in the description below to check out my twitch.tv live stream. We're going to be streaming right after this video goes up. We always do giveaways, case openings, over overwatches, smurf games, competitive, arms race, everything. We do it all. Make sure to check that out. Also check out the video where I open up four of these revolver cases. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. It's been your boy Quad MFT, and I'm Audi 5000.